As reports around Activision Blizzard intensify with allegations getting stronger and stronger, there are further additional reports slowly coming out whereby partners within the industry are reacting to what they're seeing and hearing, with the latest to do so being Nintendo. Activision Blizzard is currently facing a lawsuit from the California Department of Fair Employment and Housing after accusations from employees that they faced constant sexual harassment in the workplace. Recently, Bobby Kotick, CEO, has been under scrutiny when a report alleged that Kotick knew of misconduct in Activision Blizzard since 2018. According to a report by the Wall Street Journal, Kotick said on November 19th that he would keep the possibility of resignation open if he could not fix issues within Activision Blizzard with speed. Nintendo is the third of the major platform manufacturers that has criticised the current state of affairs, with head of Xbox Phil Spencer recently explaining to his staff that he is deeply troubled by what is going on. And while Nintendo's comments were meant to be for internal use only, it has been confirmed to Fanbyte.com that the story is indeed accurate. President of Nintendo America Doug Bowser said in the internal email that, Along with all of you, I've been following the latest developments with Activision Blizzard and the ongoing reports of sexual harassment and toxicity at the company. I find these accounts distressing and disturbing. They run counter to my values as well as Nintendo's beliefs, values and policies." Bowser also added that Nintendo has been in contact with Activision and have taken action, although it's unclear what this action is just yet. Bowser added, "...every company in the industry must create an environment where everyone is respected and treated as equals, and where all understand the consequence of not doing so." For more on all things in gaming, and for what's new and what's next, head to NME.com.